What is up everyone? JD here. I hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm excited to bring you another new knife review. Very quickly, let me go ahead and share a pocket dump. Today I am carrying my Demco AD 20.5. This is the DLT trading exclusive with the black coated blade and originally came with the OD green handles. I did upgrade to a set of fat carbon scales done in the Arctic Storm colorway. I did throw on a Lynch Northwest deep carry pocket clip and I picked up a matching backspacer. These are made by Carbonized over on Instagram and I also threw a set of Rocket Glide skiff bearings in the pivot. Very much enjoying this daily carry. It's making its way into my pocket more and more. Today we're going to be talking about a recently released budget friendly version of a knife that really I've had my eye on for a while but I just couldn't quite pull the trigger due to the price point for the more premium variant but it did interest me very much it is going to be the concept reverie so let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the box because the new format I actually carry it use it and then put it back in the box so you can just see everything that comes with it and concept even on their budget line still still does in my opinion, one of the best presentations in the game when it comes to it. I really do like this premium slide box that you get. You get the microfiber cloth and warranty information in this really nice thick envelope. So I really do appreciate that. It does have the moisture wicking packet down in there as well. And you also get a little flap case here with the logo nicely embroidered on the leather although it does look like it's a little off center but that's okay i still appreciate the job that they do with the presentation so you can see it does come wrapped in the plastic i did put again all of this back exactly how it came so you could get that experience and just see everything that comes with the knife having said that let's go ahead and get it out of the way and we'll run through the specs really quick then we'll do some comparison knives and talk about the knife. So the Reverie has a 2.97 inch 154cm blade steel, 4 inch G10 or there is a micarta variant, handles for an overall length of 7 inches and claimed weight is 3 ounces. Let's go ahead and bring the scale over here and check that weight. Alright, let's see. Claimed weight is 3 ounces. Coming in at 2.9. Maybe the micarta is heavier and the G10's lighter. <laughs> I really don't know. Let's go ahead and run through the typical comparison knives really quick, and then we'll jump into the knives and alternate options. First, I'm going to bring out the Spider Coat Yojimbo 2, and today I am going to move through these a little bit more quickly because I think everybody already understands this is a smaller EDC knife. Here is my Spider Coat Shaman, and as you can see, it is just a smaller knife. But we'll get into a little bit more about the size versus ergos on this as well. Let me go ahead and bring out the crossbar locks. First, I'm going to bring out the Benchmade bug out. A little closer in size reference, but you can again still see that the Reverie is smaller. Here is the SIG K320 made by Hogue. Hopefully this is really helping you understand the size of this. This to me is borderline fifth pocket carry. Last but not least, we're going to bring out the Kubi KU321, also known as the Royal. A little bit closer in size and a little bit better of a size comparison knife. As you can see, the Royal still is longer and has more girth to it. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the knife. I know I didn't bring the buck out here. It is over there, but I think you guys get a really good sense of just how small this knife is. It's not micro carry. It is borderline fifth pocket carry, and we're going to talk about that in a little bit. First, I want to say Concept did a really nice job with the 154CM. I wish they would have done a little bit better of a job with the black wash, but I still appreciate the fact that it doesn't come fully matted or fully glossed so it does have a little bit of a tumble to it but i've seen better variants of this so i'd like to see them continue to work on and improve that this is a very thin blade and i'm glad to see that it's not a thicker blade because again this is a smaller knife the g10 is nothing fancy it has medium texturing on it so it offers a little bit of a grip but it is not overly done it's not going to saw your pocket and it's not smooth like some of the other ones that i've seen out there it has what i would say is the perfect amount of texturing for the size of this knife 
really nice access to the lock bar really solid lock up there sitting at 50 percent and again here's the access to the lock bar doesn't look like much but the thickness and the jimping actually allow you to get to it pretty good what i actually find is the problem is the fact that it's flush to the actual back scale here so what happens is you have to remember to start in front of this and actually come over and get it because if you try to come down directly on top of it and pinch it you're going to pinch your meat here so that is a complaint that i do have about this if you're like me and you like to come in from the side no issues there you just got to remember to again start right in front of it and then deploy it if you don't want it to fall down on your hand then you just have to move your finger and lay it a little bit more flat than you do on the top the mohawk is definitely a style that i've had a little le less experience or exposure to but i do like that mohawk style because it's, it's very low profile in my opinion but when the jimping is done correct on it you can really use this with just any of the fingers like you can oops my finger slipped sorry um with a front flipper now i don't think i've tried it here yeah it, it has a very light detent i didn't want to jump over to that but you can you can kind of actuate it but i'm just not very good at it maybe i need to i don't know i'm contorting my finger and i just poked myself right there am i bleeding yep just poked myself moving too fast that's why i keep band-aids over there and that's why you should be very careful with your knives at all times it is not reversible which i think is a missed opportunity because it's an ambidextrous deployed mechanism you can deploy this left-handed and right-handed just as easily so i'm not quite sure why concept just didn't go ahead and throw the screw holes in here and it looks like the standoffs are in slightly different spots okay I don't know I feel like they could have brought this up more and then had yeah they could have brought it up more oh there is a bolt back there how about that I didn't even notice that in the times that I've carried it so I think that they could have used the top bolt for the standoff holes brought the pocket clip up and made this reversible I think lefties would have appreciated it not too bad it's a little poke um, the drop point works really nicely it's a very subtle drop it doesn't drop sharply it does leave the tip up kind of high so when you get to utility cuts you do have to come up high but again with a knife this size it's not that hard to come out here and just hold the tip and then keep the rest of the knife in your fingers if you're trying to do some draw cuts um, or you're trying to use it in a pinch grip has good belly to it, it came with a nice edge um, my experience with concept edges is they're they're pretty good they're consistent with the models that I've gotten um, they execute their designs very well and they seem to work really well now this one here is coming in at under 100 I want to say it was around the 70 mid $70 mark which is a pretty good price point what could you get for that money you could look at Kaiser's Feist this one here has 3v with micarta but there is a ton of variants and they're typically around 99 bucks so this is another option in this segue or if you're looking at something that is a little bit bigger because the feist is actually going to be in my opinion right at that fifth carry spot you could actually look at the petrified fish mini beluga which has the front flipper on it but it has the fuller for the finger as well and this one here a little bit more substantial a little bit more girthy so it feels for me with larger hands nicer in hand in my opinion you're getting 14 c28 in instead of 154 cm and you're getting the option to have either just plain g10 or their gbascus they offer two colorways there but just so you can kind of see the reverie is in between these two recommendations but it's a little bit more closer in size to a full-sized handled knife the ergos on the reverie are really nice i like the curving it puts the knife in a nice position if you're going to make your push cuts here the way that this is curved it actually uh, pushes the blade down to help kind of trap the material you can get right up on the edge it does have a plunge grind that's kind of close to the edge there you'll be able to get a couple sharpenings out of there before you start to develop a smile but it's not too bad in all honesty it's really well done I think for the money 
this is the better buy 154 cm with g10 or micarta is a great deal it does have ceramic bearings excellent action and it gives you the experience for the reverie and i think this was a smart play on concepts part to give this offering because it is a harder pill to swallow to spin upwards of 250 to 300 for the more premium variant of this model great little knife i can't knock it it's a nice option if you don't like big blades if you want something a little bit smaller and um, i'm going to try to carry this fifth pocket and see how it does but i have a feeling it's probably going to land somewhere around here and leave that out the thing that i've done with knives that are about this size because they're kind of in that limbo space of a fifth pocket carry knife for me is the fact that I do have those little organizers that I picked up from Art Company and I typically throw it in that pouch with a flashlight and or a pen and let it sit down and ride down inside the pocket and when I do that it doesn't get in the way of the knives that I typically carry on the hem of my pants. Can I recommend this knife? Yes, I actually would recommend this one over the more premium version unless you really just want to have some of their fat carbon, um, carbon fiber, uh, and other premium material options or you want the premium blade if this is going to be your one and only knife in your primary blade then it might be worth investing a little bit more but 154 cm is such a well-rounded steel and g10 does a good job offering very nice grip and ergos are very good on this to where you could you know just carry this knife and have it be like what it's going to end up in my inventory is kind of like an alternate alternative knife something that i might put in the organizer something that i might want to break out in an environment where i might not want too much attention on myself when i'm breaking out some of my more full-sized knives now would i buy this knife over top of the petrified fish mini beluga because i feel like they kind of occupy the same space probably not again you're getting 14c 28n if you can see that i'm definitely gonna have to zoom in um, i do think the pocket clip is nicer because it is reversible and i would say both have good ergos and both have nice access to their lock bars but this one is done a little bit nicer because it does sit down inside and it does have the um there you go it does have the chamfering right there on the liner lock so i find that it's a little bit easier to actuate this one even if you land on top of it or if you're coming over from the side you're not getting that pinch could be that it has just a little bit more space in there because it doesn't feel as chunky when you get into this part of the knife as it does when you try to get into this one and that just could be because it's completely flush with that but once you figure out i mean it's a minor minor nitpick once you figure out just to come in from the side it's really not that bad now if you didn't mind spending double the price which is still going to be less than their premium version of this i could also recommend the american made by hogue dig doug ritter rsk mk1 this one here is a very nice size comparison it does have the g10 on it it does come with 20 cv and it has their able lock which is a very nice crossbar lock very strong phosphor bronze washers so this is going to be something that does really well um, comparing to this knife because it has very similar ergonomic lines and let me bring them up here so you can kind of see you see the contouring how the shape of the handle and the blade are very similar but you get a little bit better of a drop point here for utility cuts and things of that nature and you do get the ramp up here which you don't get here you get the jimping but your thumb kind of is in a spot where you can still slide around a little bit because the jimping is meant uh, more for uh, the jimping is not that great whereas the jimping here is a little bit better in my opinion and it does they did ramp that blade up so ergonomically you are kind of getting some pushback in the blade and then I think the lines for the drop point are better on the Hogue again you're spending you know let's call it 80 for this you're spending 130 140 for this but you are getting 20 cv and you're getting a crossbar lock which is a little bit of a stronger lock but if you're doing stuff with these knives at this size where you have to worry about the lock mechanism i would say this is more of a fidget factor than it is um and actually probably i would say uh, convenience right of deployment you, got it, you can put it away a little bit easier than you can with this one. This one here, you have to really move your hands around and then you gotta come down here and deploy it. So it's a little bit quicker, but again, 
this is just nitpicky stuff and I'm just trying to think of things that you can really take into consideration when you're comparing those knives. So um, a little bit less 14C28N, better G10. Um, both have good ergos. I would say they're probably about equal. I like the contouring a little bit better on the petrified fish, but the chunkiness of the flat scales feels really good. I would say I like the fact that you have the texturing, the bi-directional pattern texturing here, which gives really good um, and confidence for ergos on this knife being that it is smaller but if you're trying to do some slightly heavier task with this i feel more confident with this one and i really do like the lock the able lock from hogue they do a really good job on here and this one has the best edge out of the three here in this um, comparison if you wanted something a little bit smaller let me think for a second something a little bit smaller and probably like ten dollars less you could pick up the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog with the thumb hole deployment. This one also has 154CM. This one has the stone wash that I was talking about that I wish you would see from the concept. You see that stone wash or that black wash? It's really nicely done. It gives it a really nice worn look and it really does mask where I've cut with this knife a lot better. Um, this one here, because it doesn't have the flipper tab, it does have that four choil but you are right next to the blade's edge. So just keep that in mind when you're using that one. Whereas this one gives you more grip and it has slightly better ergos. Um, for a larger hand, it, you do get good ergos coming back here, but you're so far back from the edge. But again, it, when you're using this knife, I feel like you're opening packages. And even if you're breaking down a box um, or if you're breaking down cardboard period, and then I guess it could be what else would it be if it's not a box? I typically just go straight through. I don't have to grip the whole thing. So um, that's something to take into consideration. You don't have to choke all the way up on this. You can kind of come back on the knife and you can get through it just fine. So those are just some comparable knives, um, alternative knives. I, I like this knife. If you enjoy the front flipper action and you want something that's four finger grip and a little bit bigger than a Kaiser Feist, I think this is what you want to look at. If you, if you like the thought of the Feist, but you want something that's going to fit the hand a little bit better and have a little bit more grip on it. Um, and you know, very intuitive to operate. They did a good job with the lighter detent with the Mohawk style flipper. I think this one here would probably be my nod to go to, and it is also a Lundquist design, so same designer, but I think this one here is a little bit more friendly, in my opinion, than the Feist. I hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like. Consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed, and thank you if you are. I appreciate all the support. I hope all of you have a fantastic week. Until next time, peace.